Hello friends, it's Vivek Moel from VivekMoel.in and we are working on how we can create a dynamic slider and in the last video you have seen that we have uploaded the image to our slider image and now we will save the name of that image to our database for making it dynamic. So for creating this, uh, for saving the image name to our database, we will just make an object of our slider class so we'll just create a, a first of all we will include our slider class here slider class and dollar slider class equals to new slider class dollar slider class or we will just name it as upload slider and this upload function will take three parameters one is for image one is for big text and one is for small text but for the image value we use image name but for the big text we use dollar post big and for the small text we will use dollar post small and now we have our edge slider done and come back here we will first include our database in this so we will just require we will require code for our database dir name directory name file function slash connection class dot php now we have done connection class here and we extended the connection class now we will create a function public function upload slider and this slider will take three parameters image dollar big and dollar small test okay now for inserting we will use our insert query insert into slider values let's close it dollar result equals to dollar this query insert is done okay if dollar result says true or returns true then we'll echo while is uploaded else we will show while is not uploaded okay so here we will just post our values image name it's our column name big text and small text small text and for the values part we will use dollar image dollar big and dollar small okay so we have our upload function done here now come back out to our edge slider we'll just refresh it and we'll just upload some images or we can find them on extra yeah we have this image this is big demo this is demo okay file is uploaded let's come back to our slider okay we don't have the big text and small text here so here why we don't get the value it's big and small okay our problem is b is capital and big and small s is capital and small so that was the problem and now we will add one more image this is big demo this is anything now if we'll so we have the value we will add one more to this toy story no we will just take the different one this and this okay so we have 
three values in our database table slider table now we will create a function for getting the list of the slider so we will create a public function list slider and for list we will use select query select star from slider dollar result equals to dollar this and it will run the query that is select and we will also count the values count equals to dollar result num rows okay if dollar count is less than one then do nothing else it will loop so it will go on with this it will fetch the array and here we will just remove this part and now here we will create an array that is rows equals to equals to dollar rows so all the values will go to rows array and we will return the dollar rows okay so we have completed our list slider as you can see we have the three images which we have added earlier okay now we have completed with the list slider function we'll come back to our index page uh, i have already put some code here for the slider which i get from bootstrap so there is a slider going on as you can see images are moving so now we will just replace these images with our database images so for doing this we will just include our slider class here so include once manage slider and slider class we make a object of our slider class new slider class slider list equals to dollar slider class list slider so now in this slider list we have the list slider uh, list slider function and our list slider function will take the values from our slider table now we will first of all remove this part these bullets which you which are at the bottom of the slider so we will just remove them and we'll take only one with them okay here we will just see how many bullets we can create according to our slider like number of bullets so for this we will just use php for each uh, before this we will use if dollar count no sorry if count array so we have a slider list okay and also now here we will get this if uh, already it's if it's true if the slider list is having any value then it will work otherwise it will not so we will also take that how many counts we have right now so we will just do one thing for each array as value slider list slider list and we will just cut he cut here and we'll just put it like this okay and we'll make it we'll just define a dollar i equals to zero and if dollar i equals to zero then do this else do this so if it's zero then do this or just a minute equals, equals to zero then do this or do this 
In this, we will remove the active class so that all the bullets will not get active. And here we will just dollar i plus plus and same dollar i plus plus. Okay. So if we refresh it, there's an error error here. Little slider, as you can see, a slider class on num line number twenty five. Okay, now it will be result because it's a result function. So now, as you can see, we have three bullets according to our three values. Okay, so we will move on to next part that is our list box part. We will just remove this part and we'll just copy this part and we'll paste it here and we'll just cop cut here cut this part and we'll just paste it here and now on this caption part we will use our dollar dollar value that is big text okay and now we will do the same with this so we will just copy this part and we'll just paste it here and we'll remove this part and now we have to replace our images with the real images so we will just replace it with the value in the images we will just use image name so we have our image name here and refresh now we will just refresh our page as you can see there are some errors are there just a minute we'll just make them so we have this part and now as you can see everything is going down and down and down and down this is due to some issue so check first of all we will change this to something else a because a a a a a a and refresh it so we have all of the values down and down and down one more thing we have to do our uh, our images are not visible because we have not shows the correct target here so it's the correct target the same thing i was telling you earlier that if we don't use the folder name in our uh, in our value in our or you can say in our database part then you can change your uh, folders according to your need so there is some issue just a minute hold on we have 3404 these are the errors slider images slash this is not there slider image sorry So there are three images which are visible, but the problem is they are not working properly. So as you can see, all of them are gone. If we click on this, as you can see, we have the text here also. As you go there, as you can see the same thing. If you don't have the text, nothing is visible. If there is in text, it's there. So that's the whole part of how we can create a dynamic slider using PHP. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, any queries, any comment, any feedback, please comment below the video or to my blog. There uh, you will find the link of my blog article.
below in the description so please share please like please subscribe our channel thank you for watching our video